Good morning, Future M. I stealed Steve's phone and I'm using it for making videos because my phone is kind of a craptasm. It has cracked glass all over the camera and it's constantly crashing and it's not even that old and I don't know what's wrong with it and it's done so now we're using the Steve phone for checking of goodness. If it's oh there we go there we go stars sort of <laughs> I was thinking about yesterday and about the memory cast appointment which I realize now most of which I can't remember but I talked to friends about the results, the family and stuff, um, and most people were not surprised by that result, by the extreme dichotomy. And I realized that I responded so emotionally to that appointment because the doctor was very flabbergasted um said that like but you're so high functioning i don't understand how this could be true and how basically thought like how can you learn things and how can you have a job like you oh you're clearly uh, very high functioning but you're getting like very poor test results from memory um And I realized that, well, that was all true before the test. Um, so why, after the test, did I feel so emotions about it? And I think it was just from, like, really seeing myself through someone else's eyes, through, like, this professional's eyes, um, through, like, her metrics and her metaphors and, like, her understanding of the world. And... For that read to be like, you're incredibly unusual. I've never seen this before. This is very unusual. Um, was a little jarring. So, yeah. I just, I, I, it's fine to be unusual. I'm not saying that I have a problem with being unusual. It's just hard to see the difference sometimes between like my lived experience of my condition um and doctors sort of measured experience of my condition um and how sometimes those two things can be in conflict and it can be kind of emotionally trying so yeah seeing yourself through other people's eyes is uh Good night, Seth.